Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another episode on the Falcon YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing very well and in this episode we're going to be talking about some real truths that you guys and girls need to hear. And first and foremost, I really want you to share this with as many traders as possible because they're going to need to hear this. Today we're going to be talking about the reality of full-time trading because on Instagram, social media and things like that, we're constantly sold on this kind of laptop lifestyle, digital nomad things and although you can do that and you can travel and things like that, I want to get into the truths and I want to break it down into a few stages that I think that's going to provide a lot of value into routines, understanding that there's money management involved and also understanding that there's mindset involved. So when you can combine these things, it really helps break down each stage of what's really, really important. The truth is, I've been full time for nearly five years now and even to this day, I'm not constantly going on holiday. I'm not always going abroad and things like that. Can I? Of course I can. I can go whenever I want. But the truth is, there's a lot of things that you learn to love and you know that you need to do when you're treating this like a business that you need to get into. When you start seeing this as a business, you start seeing things very differently. It's not always about being by the beach and all these kind of things. So it's not always the answer that people want to hear, but you need to hear it. So guys and girls, let's get into it. So first up, we're going to go into routines. The reality of full-time trading is that you need a solid, diligent routine that you focus and that you love and that you enjoy. Otherwise, you'll just get bored of it and do different things. First up, just a quick story about myself. So, when I first went full-time, what I did is I woke up whenever I wanted. Why? Because I had the freedom for the very first time to do what I want when I want. I was excited. Who wouldn't? And what you don't realize is that it starts to affect your results. It starts to affect your sleep patterns and all these things. I was trading the Asian session. Why on earth am I trading the Asian session and staying up to all kinds of hours? I remember I used to ring my friends sometimes at two, three in the morning and me forgetting I'm on the way back because my brother had an office that was 24 hours and I used to go there and you know have my own time and things like that. And I'd be driving and then ringing people thinking, I'm ringing this person at three in the morning. But the thing is, I was so detached from the world at that point, I didn't have a routine, because why? I would sometimes wake up and think, oh, I'm a little bit tired, and then I would just stay in bed. And then before you know it, I'm waking up at 12, one, two, and then I'm, I'm doing night shift, you know, <laughs> what am I playing at? But the reality is, I didn't have a solid routine. I had no structure. I didn't have a boss anymore. I didn't have anybody to tell me what to do, when to do it. So I had to learn to manage my own time. So it goes back to processes. So I cannot stress enough. The reality of when you go full time, you need a routine. And if you don't have a routine, if you're a full-time trader and you've, you've done this, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And let me know in the comments if you've struggled with this as well. Many full-time traders that I've spoken to, they go through the same thing. At the beginning stage, you love it. And before you know it, you realize you're scratching your head, getting distracted by YouTube and all these kind of things because you're not focusing on what you need to do because you learn, need to know how to be disciplined, time block, and manage your own time. Routines and processes are so important. So the reality is, guys and girls, that can you go abroad and live a laptop lifestyle and do these things? Yes. But you've got to think about different environments, you know, Wi-Fi connection. If When you trade large capital, you just see things very differently. A Wi-Fi connection becomes a very serious problem for you now. There's a reason why sometimes I don't pick a certain destination because the Wi-Fi is not good enough. There was a holiday that me and my partner we was going to go to the Maldives and I checked out a few places and I was literally phoning up for, they was talking to me about all these kind of things and what they've got and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's all good, but what's the Wi-Fi connection? What is the download? What's the upload speed? And the thing is, that's the truth and you're not going to think like that because all you just see is the glamorous lifestyle, but when you're treating things like a business and you know you need to make very costly decisions because it's a portfolio that you're dealing with now, it's a very different level of thinking. So you'll learn to realize that Successful people in all different industries, they really appreciate routine. So the reality is, if you're going full time, make sure you get your routine on point and learn how to manage yourself. Really, really important. Look at people like even Warren Buffett, billionaire. What does he do? You've probably seen the documentary that came out quite a while ago. Where does he go in the morning? McDonald's. He goes to the same drive through at 7 a.m. or whatever time it was to order the same exact thing. Why is that? Because he just has a routine that he loves. He can buy whatever he wants, he's a billionaire. But what does it go to show you? Successful people, success leaves clues. Successful people, they appreciate and respect routines and processes because they know how important they are. So full-time traders, if you're thinking about it, make sure you go in having the right routine in place. The next point I wanna go on to that I think is overlooked as well and the reality of full-time trading is that you need a solid mindset, not a bulletproof mindset because 
that's a bit of a fantasy. You know, there isn't anyone that's got this full bulletproof mindset. You can work towards having a strong mindset, but not bulletproof. And what tends to happen, and this is just from my own experience and people that I've seen do this, is that you tend to forget what got you there in the first place. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say, for example, you're reading Trading in the Zone, other books, mindfulness books, mindset books, and you're doing the right things, you're goal setting, you're journaling, you're doing the right things, working on your mindset, but then your mind switches to, well, I'm full time now, so I just need to make money. So then you, all you think about is compounding your account, compounding money, but you forget about the compound of knowledge. You forget about compounding your mindset, and then you forget doing the things that you need to do that got you there in the first place. So you no longer read books. You start just thinking, well, I know it all now, you know I've done that. So we forget the things that we already done. When you go full time, you need to do more things to work on your mindset. And it doesn't mean read loads of books, not necessarily. It means just really make sure that your mindset is on point. And that can be through things like meditation. Again, go back to routines and processes. But we're really making sure that you have a plan, not just for your trading routines and trading account. You actually have a plan for your mindset. What areas of your life do you want to work on? What other areas do you want to work on in terms of growth? Do you want to be just by the charts all the time? Probably not. I tend to take on average 10 to 12 trades per month. And I designed it in a way that I don't have to take 20, 30 trades because I don't, I understand the sustainability and the scalability of that. It's important to have other things in place, which is why you've probably seen on other channels, my personal YouTube channel, things like property, other things that I do. And it's because that you can't sit by the screen all the time. The reality of full-time trading is you literally, it's worse, it's more damaging. I've been there where I would literally, you know, click through, click through all of the charts. And before you know it, I'm looking, hmm, yeah, that looks like a trade. And I'll be taking trades I shouldn't trade that are not in my plan, but I've got all the time in the world. So I'm just sitting there thinking, you know, time's ticking, you know, nothing's going on. Why don't I just uh, place a few more trades? And then before you know it, you ASR and realize that that wasn't in your plan in the first place. So the reality is not only do you need routines in place, you need to be doing other things, whether that's going to the gym, fitness, dedicating time to just listening to an audio book or working on a side project that you really like, doing other things actually improves your trading. So the reality of this, you know, I wanna be a full-time trader, I wanna quit my job, you're so infatuated with the idea of going full-time that it's not what it's cut out to be. And I'm not to do that to, to dampen it and say that it's not good because it's fucking amazing. You have all the free time to be able to do what you want, but you'll learn to realize that routines, processes, and actually doing other things, working on your mindset is really, really key, and that is what is gonna sustain you for the long run, so it's so, so important. And then when we go to the last point that I think that a lot of people fail to realize and is the reality of full-time trading, money management. So what I mean by this is that if you're thinking about going full-time, if you're thinking about becoming a full-time trader, I urge you to at least have six months of your outgoings and expenses as a buffer. You need to have that. I don't really want to put the word budget into it because budget really comes from a scarcity level of thinking but more so a buffer in that sense that you've just got that there you've got yourself covered put it that way you've got yourself covered your expenses all of these things your outgoings six months what that does is it relieves the pressure a little bit because you're not now thinking about month to month because remember the idea of you going full time is that you want to be a full-time trader you want to be empowered you don't want to go from being employed to then being employed to the market and if you're trading month to month, that's exactly what you'll be doing. So having that six months in place, or even 12 months for some people, that's gonna help you feel far more confident, less stress, focus on what you need to do, focus on your routines. You're not thinking, well, I need to make 4% this month because that's gonna cover my expenses and bills. That's, that's a scarcity mentality to think. You need to have things in place so you can focus on what is more important. Otherwise, you make bad decisions. You base, you base your decisions based off of outcome, based off of the routine and process that you need to achieve bigger outcomes. You see what I mean? So it's really important that you have that in place as security in the, in the right sense that you've got yourself covered. And that is a business level of thinking. Because it's just like if you started a business, you might say that, right, I've got six months of cash flow. It's a smart decision to make. Or I've got 12 months cash flow. Well, now you're not making you know, vulnerable decisions or impulsive decisions because you know you've got six to 12 months and that gives you the right amount of time to adjust and to adapt. So money management is really, really key. And once you do that, that is gonna help you so much more. And if you notice, a lot of successful people, they, they have certain things in place that they do to ensure that they can just focus on what they're good at. Don't go from being employed to somebody thinking that you're gonna go full time and it's gonna be this on the beach all the time, laptop lifestyle, 
and then you're wondering why things are not working out for you because you've not been used to managing your own time because you have to be at a certain place, a certain time everywhere. You're not focusing on your mindset because you think you've made it now and then you've not got any money management. So now you're thinking month to month or really thinking about the outcome and realizing that you've not put things in place, measures in place that is gonna set yourself up for success. And again, all of the things that I've just said is business level thinking. You need to elevate yourself to business level thinking if you want business results. So by doing these things, I wanted to bring more awareness because I think every trader needs to hear this. Any aspiring trader that wants to be a full-time trader, you might think you wanna be a full-time trader because you've heard people say it. Ask yourself, why do you wanna be a full-time trader? What if you love what you do and you're able to trade in congruency with that very, very well, which a lot of people don't, which a lot of people are. So what if you do something that's very, very rewarding? What if, for example, you're a paramedic and you love what you do, you like helping people and you're able to trade? What if you're, if you're doing something else, or you're in a restaurant and you're able to trade in a way that suits your style? This could be different strategies, by the way. But the, the reason why I love the Falcon strategy is the flexibility of it, that if you're more aggressive in the market, you can be aggressive. It's, if it suits your personality, you just need a plan for it. If you're more conservative, you can do that as well. The highest level of success that any trader will achieve is someone that can trade in congruency of their own personality. It's that black and white. It's not about that one personality favors another one. It's the level of consistency that you can do to be true to yourself because then you're not faking anything. You're doing something that is congruent with you, your sets of values, your beliefs, and your ideal lifestyle. You might not want to be by the charts all day, every day. I don't because I know I perform better when I'm doing other things and I'm focusing on other things. So the reality of full-time trading is learn to love the things that are not always attractive, right? Learn to love the processes, the routines, and take pride in them. I absolutely love it. I enjoy my morning routine and my evening routines and all these things because I know that once I achieve that and I consistently do that, that is where growth comes. It's the consistency of doing the things that seem insignificant, but they're actually very, very significant. And that can be things like five daily goals, just ticking off five simple goals that are congruent with the bigger goals. If I tick off those five goals, I know they compound over the year. So it's the things that are so easy not to do, they're also easy to do. And you just have to make the choice to actually do it in the first place. So I hope this gives you a bit of an insight. It's not what you wanna hear. You wanna hear me say, you know, go to Dubai, go to here and go to the Maldives and just be trading for your laptop. And although that is true and you can do that, but you need a very high level of discipline. You need to be in the flow state. You need to be in the flow state as much as possible. How are you gonna be in the flow state if you're traveling around all the time? How are you gonna be in the flow state if you're constantly adjusting to time zones or worrying about whether the internet connection is there and you're trying to get signal and manage a trade? How are you gonna do that? Your mind's not there. You need to put yourself in an environment where you treat this like a business if you really wanna take it to those levels business level thinking. So guys and girls, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. I wanted to bring awareness to the full-time trading side of things that just because you're a trader and you wanna be successful, doesn't mean that you have to escape your job. You may be very successful with what you do, you may have a successful business, and they can be congruent together with the right routines, the right processes, and the right strategy that gives you that level of flexibility. But guys and girls, really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments if you're a full-time trader or you've been thinking about going full-time and this has helped you, any key takeaways, or if you've been full-time full -time trading for a while and you've had or you've relate to any of these kind of struggles and you've kind of done things to put them in place to be able to overcome them. I would absolutely love to know. But guys and girls, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you're always in the loop of the updated content. I'd really appreciate to know your number one takeaway of this episode. Have an incredible weekend ahead and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care, everyone.